MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the World Series. Kurt Ramirez gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, every once in a while, you're going to have a clunker, and this guy had one in his last one. Gave up 10 hits in his last start. That's not an easy thing to do, and he certainly hoped to turn things around in this one. And the 0-2 pitch. Oh, he subtracts there beautifully. There's a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. He's really difficult to sit on just one pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Pena is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Larry Horton will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days. Nine percent of the time, the batter is taking at least the first pitch after two straight one pitch out. So you almost can underhand it up there. Tolia is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Plus, swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might throw a foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well-hit line drive. Two. Hit out towards second. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Anyway, nothing in two now. Pretty unusual. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. This guy's seen head in the minor league. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. He gets under it and makes the catch in the deep part of the field. It'll be the four hole hitter, Rob Crum. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. The played in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So they pick up no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Russell hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him. A base hit. His last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Ground ball right side. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Two down, runners at first and second. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Come on! Some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the series as they move on top four to nothing. surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hat like that. Stepping in now, Rob.
Rob Crum. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. A solo shot here to left. His first homer so far in the series as they extend the lead to five to nothing. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. Some days the fellas walk in with their hitting shoes on. This looks like one of those games. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. The windup and the 0-1. The bouncer to the left side. He's got to hurry. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. And here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Drilled down the line. Dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. The throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Runners are at first and third, one away. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. The puzzle is there, and there are two men gone now. And a miss, two and one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Ramirez is there for it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove. He just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout.